You can hide from what is deemed your responsibilities in Asia. One of the things I want to talk about is, I've got to admit, if people have kids, I do think they have some responsibilities to it, but I do understand that some people pay way over the odds and have zero um, control on their child's upbringing and decision making. Um, I understand it completely. I've, I've been through all that myself, so don't get me wrong on that. But at the same time, I do think it's important that kids do get a support where they can, but at the same time, it's often nothing to do with that. What happens is it get, the amount should be about here, but ends up here because quite simply they say, well, that's the home for the child, that's, that's this, that's that. At no point do they say the mother's still there and should be doing a day's work. That doesn't even come into the equation. Um, so what I want to talk about is the fact is you can quite simply avoid all responsibilities by living in Asia. A lot of countries have no extradition, and I know, I think the US does this, I've heard it from a few people, but I'm not American so I can't confirm it, um, that they will try and pull your passport. Now, I'm not being funny, if you look at a lot of the people on YouTube relating to the Philippines, a lot of them have gone to the Philippines and basically not even bothered registering as being there um, for the local authorities, never mind the US authorities or whoever. Um, Quite simply, there is nothing that could chase you into the into the Philippines um, unless you were doing something very bad. I don't think you would find the court system chasing you too much. I do know a couple of Americans that did it not because they didn't want to pay their ex-partner um, in the sense of their child's responsibilities, but quite simply the legal action that their ex put in place that they also ended up paying for um, made it impossible for them to actually function as a business to the point that they just said, you know what, I give up and just moved to the Philippines and started a new life. And they found over time the ex-partners have calmed down because they've lost that control. They've lost the legal system saying you have a right, you have this, to take everything from their ex-partner. In reality, they've got to grow up and take responsibility and ask for the money and simply understand they're asking for five thousand dollars a month which has been the case of one of the guys um, is unreasonable because it was pretty much bankrupting his business um, but also there was other things related to how the accounting was done because everything had to go through her lawyer before it could be approved for signing whether it's her ex-husband's personal account or whether it was the business account. There was a whole ream of stuff that eventually caused problems to the point the, point the business just wasn't viable anymore because it couldn't actually be run. Um, now, like I said, if there's kids involved, I, I do say like take some responsibility. At the end of the day, I do agree with supporting people's children because at the end of the day, you, you are part and parcel of that. Whether you like it or not, but what I don't agree with is these like, oh well, you've got more money so the kids should have this or because your ex is used to that standard of living. Don't agree with that. Don't agree with that. Especially if that ex-partner will not get out of bed and get a job. Um, you know, it's a little bit different if your ex-partner works but doesn't really have um, a high income uh, in the sense that supporting your child then fair enough, you should be supporting your child where you can because at the end of the day you had a relationship at some point. Um, and the reason I bring this into the MGTOW stuff is I know a lot of you guys want to go your own way, but sometimes a lot of the MGTOW is coming from the pains of divorce and a lot of guys have come out with virtually nothing. But you want to look at other options going into some of these countries, they may not be able to chase any of your money and stop your pension or whatever, because quite simply, they're already taking half or whatever anyway. So if you moved, sold up and left and went elsewhere, what can they do? Very, very little. In the same way, a lot of the guys, they come out of relationships, and like I was saying, these two guys I know with their business issues, they just started their business again on a smaller scale in Asia, and built them back up again. Ex-partner, got no input on them. Nothing whatsoever. These businesses aren't physical by the way, but you could you could be physical. I mean, you could be a mechanic in operating a small business in the Philippines with their new partner, etc. There's nothing to say you couldn't do that. 
but you may find that in the West it's not viable anymore. I mean, I, I remember doing the locksmithing and coming across these people that basically their ex-partner is living in three, four bedroom houses with the kids while these guys are living in bed, bed sits the size of my office. Damp, dreary, never been upgraded since the 70s type places. Um, just slums, I would, I would probably call them. Well, yeah, a slum. And why? These are professional people because all their money is going to the ex-partner. Ex-partner gets some, then the child support, then everything else has been siphoned off on the, the mortgage and everything else, leaving a pittance which isn't enough to get a new house, isn't enough to move forward, and on a regular basis you get losing at least half of your income anyway. You can't move forward anymore. At the same time, they do not take into account the ex-partner should be working and carrying their weight. No. Just take it from you, take it from you. Um, so I just want to throw that out there today, is to say there is other options out there, and a lot of them you haven't even looked at before. Um, I remember a friend of mine, even with Spain, he was in the UK, his ex-partner, because he was in Ireland originally, he used to work for Codemasters. Um, his ex-partner had the house, living there with a new boyfriend, taking more than half of his salary because they had three kids. He left because he, she used to beat him, um, but eventually he quit that job. He thought, well, what's the hell is the point of having this income? I'm not getting it anyway. Moved to the UK. He became one of my neighbours. Um, and things were going okay. And then they backdated the child support based on an income he hadn't had. They based on his previous income, which was quite good. And at the same time, his income now was the, less than the average for that area. It was about 24,000 a year. Um, so they then got into his employee's pay. And he, I remember him bringing his pay slip to me and said, look at this man, there's 400 and, 412, 14, no, 414 pounds or something. His rent was 400, that's why I remember there's a small amount because that was for his, the 14 pounds or whatever was his gas, electric and food for the next month. Because they basically taken all of his salary and said, well, you can live off this. Now, I'm not being funny in this socialist environment. If he was unemployed and they said that, they wouldn't stop it out of his benefits, would they? He would have still got housing benefit and everything else. It's because he worked for a living, he was penalized. Both moving past that a bit. Um, the point being is, he went to Spain, his sister took him on a holiday to Spain, and he met a German guy on the beach that was starting a sports bar there, a betting bar. Well, he was a turf accountant by now. He was doing the bets at the betting shop at the end of the road, because he likes numbers. He's, <laughs> he, he does calculations, that's what he loves, is his obsession. Um, but the, the point being is, he come back, sold everything, filled his car, drove to Spain and moved there and they couldn't chase his money. I mean, they may try, but the odds on them getting it are pretty much zero. Um, and I, I just want to throw that out there because I know a lot of guys out there are fed up with how much they get ripped off. And at the same time, this isn't about supporting other partners or whatever. It's keeping them in a lifestyle they've become accustomed to at the cost of others. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.